it's me, Miss Smith, and I have a pretty exciting announcement to make. Every Friday, starting today, we're gonna have a new segment on our Google Classrooms, and it's called Guest Artist Friday. So here's how it's gonna work. I've contacted a lot of my other art friends and they're gonna send us in some short videos about their work and how they make it and why they like it. And I think it's gonna be really fun. But we're gonna start today with me because um, I know you guys a lot of times only get to see the teaching part of me and not all of the other stuff that I get to do. So here's my idea. I'm gonna take you upstairs to my art studio and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I get to work on and do for other people. So. Let's head up there. especially big things. And down here is where I keep all my new paint. I've got golds, I've got all kinds of glitters. Come on, you know me. And I also have new paints that glow in the dark. Um, can you tell I like this color? <laughs> of course it wouldn't be complete without some glitter. And also my trusty artist assistant, Champ. So you guys like Champ are probably wondering, why does she have all these humongous pictures? Um, all along the walls. Well, that is because when I was a senior at Emory, my college, we had to come up with a art show. So I chose photography because I love photography. And I went out in Virginia and I just photographed a lot of places that had meaning to me. And the cool thing about a film camera is that it's different from a digital camera. So you have to go in a special dark room to take the film out because if you don't, the light ruins it. So you have to go in the dark room, you've got to take it out, put it in a canister, and then come out and put all these chemicals on it and kind of give it a bath, shake it around a little bit. After your film is light friendly, and this thing is full to the brim of film, then you take it back in the dark room and you take some pictures of it with a special filter. Now, these are called contact sheets. These let you see which pictures from your film that you want to blow up. So when you pick a picture that you like, you get to blow it up, and then if you like it, I like that one a lot. When you like it, then you get to blow it up even bigger. So this is also made in the dark room, the special film paper. But these guys weren't. These are actually, I had to load the film into a computer and print it on something called archive paper. This just lasts a long time. It's good for an art show um, and you can frame it easier. So that's what these guys are. As you can probably tell, I like working really big. That's probably why I tell you guys all the time, draw big, never draw small, draw big. Because I just think it always looks better. Um, I like doing life-size portraits of people. And then down here is something really cool that I want to show you guys. This is called a print, okay? Now what this is, is kind of like carving your own stamp. And then you put ink on the plate and you print it. So here's the finished picture. This is the stamp. So as you can see, it's opposite from what it looks like. You have to carve it. Um, and when you carve it and you flip it over, you're gonna get the opposite image. So any of these words that I wanted to be on my print, I actually had to carve them backwards and it was kind of hard. But it turned out okay. That was one of my first prints, and it's on the special paper called rice paper. Can you see the little things of rice in there? Lastly, I want to show you guys my sketchbooks because they're some of my favorite things that I have. You know, sometimes you just get bored and you draw whatever's on your mind. It could be cartoons, it could be portraits, pen, ink, pencil, comic books are my favorite. 
My favorite thing to do is to draw people because there's so many emotions and textures. You never run out of things to draw. Um, I got to take this guy to Italy with me when I went. I sketched at the Colosseum, the Roman Forums, um, Michelangelo's the David, although I didn't get it finished. And then I did some train studies of people and my professor and hands and just sketched your own Roman Florence and I'll never forget that. My next thing I wanna show you guys are some of my absolute favorites. I love working in Sharpie pen and ink. Um, of course, you know I love Halloween, so I draw mostly spooky things in my sketchbooks because it's just fun. A little crystal ball, some chunky cheeked goldfish, um, and then my glass bottles. But listen guys, it doesn't have to be Halloween to draw. The more you practice, the better you get. Keep at it.